Thank you for guesting to Late Nights by Luna Manila. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I, 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 I'm very excited to be here. And I, I've been watching the previous recordings or the podcast uh-huh. that uh, you had. And um, it's very nice to be here. And I'm looking forward to sharing a lot of different things with you and getting to know more about um, the podcast and, of course, you as well. Thank you. I'm so excited. The first time I met you, sabi ko na parang, alam ko na i-guess ko to sa late nights. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I'm honored to be here. I'm honored to be here. <laughs> also, hey, can I just say na I really appreciate your YouTube channel. When when you featured um, Balayan and Kalatagan, it's so nice. Parang, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> ang ganda nung channel. Pinapanood ko siya. <laughs> Tapos sobrang, well, kahit sino naman na when you have a province or di ba, when you're born and raised sa province, may ibang proud ka kapag nakakakita ka ng mga ganong video eh, di ba? So, when you featured Balayan, parang, ah, bakit ba hindi ako nag-uwi nung patis sa kanong bagoong? Alam mo yun? <laughs> Which is super sarap. As in, At sarap talaga. I, 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 I bought a lot for my, as in, my cousins, my relatives, as in, lahat may bagoong and patis sa bahay ngayon. Ang sarap ng bagoong. Iba rin talaga mm. yun. Mm. And nung finiture mo yung kalatagan, ang galing. I can't wait for you to feature the other towns in Batangas. The videos are short, but they're really um, educational. And nahihit mo talaga kung ano yung hindi, kahit ako, hindi ko alam na may, um, w- what was this uh, tree that you featured or showed? Um, yes, the, the rubber yung... tree. In, yeah, the yes, rubber yes, tree. Yes, hindi ko nga alam yun eh. Tapos ang galing, na meron ka pang history na, um, ano yun, na it was uh, planted by... Sino to? One of the... The Zobel family. The Zobel family. Parang yes. talaga, hindi ko alam yun. Ang galing. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. And I can't wait for you to feature, of course, syempre, sino saan pa ba ang nasugbu. Um, of course. And the whole, you know, ang dami nating town sa Batangas. We have Lemery. Um, ang dami. Paal. And Paal, yeah. I can't wait for you to yes. feature also mga museums, mga ganon. That's right. Mm-mm. Diba? Yeah, Nakaka- I, I actually... Mm. Well, th- thank you for thank you for watching. Uh, actually, uh, subscribe ako. I, I did only watch. I subscribed so I, we can reshare. Uh, Yon, thank you so much. Uh, but y- you know what? Um, I remember a conversation before, and to me, especially at this point in the pandemic, parang I I, I just really wanted to give our fellow Batangenyo something to be proud of. Na parang you know you see these things every day. Yung yeah. for example, yung trees or yung different places and spots that are really like nakikita mo from the car when you walk di ba? pero I, I always think that there's a deeper meaning to many of these things and of course I, I want to help promote our small to medium enterprises you know the things that you don't normally see when you go to these towns so yun yung naging motivation ko and it wasn't just me it was the entire team uh, from the people helping us record the videos uh, to the people making sure our information is correct. We all wanted to come together to make something special. And we're very glad uh, and honored that not only you uh, did you end up watching it, but uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed it as well. Yeah, and I subscribe because I'm really looking forward for you <laughs> na makita ko pa yung ibang towns ng Batangas. Ang dami ko rin kasi natututunan eh. Um, pero ang galing, ang galing lang. Even yung sa Thank lakot. You. Thank you so much. Yung sa lakot. Nakita ko yung sa lakot. Ang galing mm-hmm. nun. Which Para... is super hard to make. Ah. It, it looks it looks easy, easy pero everything video. is handmade. Handmade. <laughs> yeah. e, e, even I, when, kasi syempre first time ko mag gumawa ng sa lakot. Mm. It, it's not easy. It's not easy. And um, you're using a lot of sharp objects. Mm. You could put, you could hurt yourself at any time by making it. So, um, I'm not only happy to help promote it, but I'm happy to experience it myself because it gave me a whole new perspective Totoo. on how to appreciate the, the... <laughs> Yes, of course. With the Aquaman of ano, Kalatagan. With the Aquaman himself, <laughs> yes. Si Kuya Joey. <laughs> Galing. Thank you for doing that. Nakaka-proud. And I'm, there's a lot to look forward to. And I want to tell you na this video is something that I will share sa social media, not only ng Luna, you. but yung personal account ko. I'm so excited to do that. Um, but yeah, let's proceed now with the interview. Well, 
I yes, want to really call this an interview, but siguro, um, I just want to let the, you know, the people know sino ba si Ron and Leviste? How, paano ba? Kasi di ba, pag anak ka ng politiko, pag apo ka ng politiko, merong mga, may mga konting stereotyping, merong mga um, assumptions na siguro, you know, it's an easy life for this kid, or mm-hmm. mga siguro na, ang daling nakukuha yung mga bagay-bagay, um, Siguro sobrang laging well-traveled to. Alam mo yung mga ganung assumptions. So, I want to talk about what it's really like to be raised in a political family. Siyempre, yung mga Leviste kilala talaga yun sa Nasugbu. I want to I wanna know what your um, experience as a kid, how's your typical family day um, look like? Um, and later on, maybe you can share how does uh, politics affects you as a child when you're, you know, you were a teenager and, you know, as a youth. Mm-hmm. Well, to be honest, growing up, um, I I would say we're just like any other family. Then I mean I mean um, we always make it a point to uh, have meals together. Uh, we would always be there, especially some big events. Uh, my parents would never miss the big events, uh, especially for for me as their eldest, and of course my siblings. Uh, they would always make it a point to be present, but siguro. Um, growing up, I would say that my house or our house was a house not only for our family but for everyone. Siguro, um, many times throughout the year. Siguro ngayon na COVID, iba lang. Like as in we and not it, it's not um safe. Siguro yeah. or hindi madale na anyone can just enter each other's homes. But we we don't want to pass the virus uh to anyone. Yeah. Um and and. Yeah, like I, I, we in fact have been like firsthand. Uh, we we've experienced this firsthand. Like uh, our our entire family has gotten COVID uh, over the past past uh two years uh, at different times. Mm. My dad got it twice. Pero yun parang before, siguro when we were young, yung house namin um, it's a house for everyone. Um, and I mean this in both a good way. Uh, and siguro in a way that you wouldn't really expect. So I, I'd say it's good because um, every day, um, iba't ibang tao yung nakikita mo. Today you yeah. get to meet this person, pero tomorrow you're meeting about a different person. And um, of course, syempre, nakakausap na sila. And it, it's a very nice experience for me because I, I was able to enjoy uh, hearing about the stories of not only our province, but of the lives of different people. And uh-uh. it really opened my eyes to many things at a younger age. Um, to go to younger than many of my, the people my age uh-uh. uh, or, or my batchmates. Um, I remember before, um, you know, siyempre sa school, uh, you'd always hear them, oh, nanonood ng TV, ganyan. Pero it, growing up, siguro that's where it differed a bit. Eh. Parang, um, because our house was open to many people. Yeah. Um, growing up, I couldn't just watch cartoons. Hindi ko pwede, hindi ko lang pwedeng ibali wala yung mga guests namin at home. So even at a very young age, my parents have already taught me to make sure that, of course, when you have guests at home, what's the right way to, uh, uh, to, behave, to have manners, parang basically. Ganun. And then, of, of course, to yeah. entertain our guests uh, at home. Uh, Pero, and maybe sometimes it came at the cost of a, a, a bit of like, what a normal child would have, which is you know, yeah. palaro, laro lang, parang, I, I couldn't do those at times. But, yeah. you know, the, the house was for everyone. Um, it was very busy, very fast-paced, so many things yeah. going on. Uh, that um, sometimes also when you want to just relax, parang mm-hmm. hindi rin pwede kasi sobrang dami nangyayari. And uh, I, I guess you can only imagine uh, what, what that would be for Eight years old, yeah. like an eight year old kid, the back things like Pero, that. Pero meron ka na ba agad na kailan mo nalaman na your family or your dad is an important person in uh, Batangas or in or is a politician? Parang ganon. Anong age na alala mo pa ba? Mm. And also, I have a question. Actually, sorry, curious mm-hmm. lang. Yes. Do you have bodyguards mm. like your no, family? No, 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 you don't. No, 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 no. Ah, okay. No, no, no. Ne- never, mm. ever. Mm. Never, never have we. Uh, well, first, not only my dad, but the entire family mm. does not believe in that. Um, I when my when the former uh, governor uh, Sanoy Leviste, mm. um, he is the longest governor in Batangas. 
he, the capital was actually open to uh, every day, but as in people could actually sleep there uh, if they wanted to. They were very, as in, when you say people's palace, it was literally like as in for the people, like he, mm. they could sleep there if you want. He, he, he would reside there also. Um, but ever since we were young, never had, never had bodyguards, um, never had any um, special treatment in mm-hmm. terms of that. When we, when we would, uh, pagkatapos ng school, uh, just like anyone else, uh, we lang, parang yeah. wala. Like, I, 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 w- I would go home on my own. When mm-hmm. no one was there to fetch me, I would commute on my own. I, I learned these things by myself. Uh, I grew up in Manila, actually. That's where I took my high school and, and my college. So, mm-hmm. I learned a lot of these things, but really no special treatment. Pero, um, to, your, to your question before that, um, I, I was actually born before my dad entered politics. So I, I saw him um, grow up. And my parents had me when they were 21, actually. Um, oh. I, and I, 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 I'm 23 now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, I can only imagine what it's like having a child. But I saw both my parents grow up. Um, I, I saw them at the, when my dad and my mom were in the corporate life. And then when my dad entered politics, I, I witnessed that. Um, through and through. And it was such a different childhood, mm. uh, to be honest. Um, to, to me, my dad is just like any other dad. He's, he's my dad. I, I, I don't really know anything that, you know, uh, what his role was growing up. I, I, at five years old, voila, he, he's my yeah. dad. He was there in my exactly. school events, father and son camping. He made sure that uh, we, were, we all had a good time. Um, I didn't really know that uh, there was, you know, until I started to be more active with uh, the campaign, and I started to really realize na, oh, parang, um, ha, ha, kilala niyo pala yung dad ko, parang, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. so, so, it, it was more of like an innocent na parang, uh, oh, kilala niyo pala dad ko, dad, yeah. no, kilala ka, so parang, uh, growing up, he was That's just cute. my dad, pero, yeah. uh, as we grew, we, we grew together, and I could say that for, not only myself, but the entire family, we grew up, we're a young family, we grew up together, talaga, and alam mo, dahil binanggit mo na you're only 23, ang mi- minsan nakakalimutan ko na you're still that young dahil ang dami mong ginagawa and ang dami mo nang ginawa na nakontribute even sa school, sa Batangas. I wanna ask, um, can you share with us what you decided to run as a sangguniang kabataan kagawad mm-hmm. of Barangay Bel Air? Um, yes. So actually, ever since I was that age, five years old nga, parang dun nagsimula yung talagang hilig ko with, um, I wouldn't really say public service even mm. at that point, just just helping in general. Um, that's that's when it really started eh? because parang I saw at a very young age, I, I was hearing from people firsthand what their problems were and suddenly parang I felt the weight of the world in, in yeah. my shoulders. All of a sudden, like, I, I, I don't know, like at, at five years old, I felt like I had a much bigger role than being a five-year-old kid. And so, um, yeah, er, per, per, early on, I just really started to enjoy. And uh, when I when I was offered the chance to participate in my community in Makati, where I, again, I, I, I was able to study college and high school. That, mm. That's the main reason why I, I was there in the first place. Um, I, I took the chance because I, I thought that there was a lot of good that we can do. Yeah. as young leaders and, really? and I, I, I think it's a chance for us to really start thinking about the future in our own little ways diba? Parang creating projects that would really enlighten the youth or more importantly just share a dream with them or dream with them diba? Parang I, I felt that that was a chance for me to do that and I, I didn't think twice I, I was very humbled by the opportunity and to me I was just so ready to serve at, at a new level so I'm sure marami nang nagtatanong sa iyo um na susunod ka ba sa yapak <laughs> ng daddy mo? Marami ba like bata ka pa lang ba marami nang nagtatanong sa iyo ng ganun? <laughs> Hanggang ngayon like I want to ask you, do you have any plans uh, like Well ever since I was young um a, a lot of people have been asking me or and, and my siblings for that matter. Mm. Maybe, maybe even my cousins. Kasi yung mga pinsan ko, we're, we're almost all the same age. Same age lang kami. So, yeah. many people have been asking, not only me, but everyone naman. 
Uh, but um Pero meron ka ba parang um uh, gagawin mo or gusto mo o, o meron ka pang ibang you're passionate about na mas gusto mong i mm. My heart will always be with 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 community development. Whether it's in politics or working for a government agency or um working for a small social enterprise whatever i do no and i i've tried this very hard uh, i've tried i've tried working in banks i've tried working in um fast moving consumer goods the big companies i i've i've tried that but even when i'm there parang init na init pa ako. i'm so hmm. gigil to 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 do something be more somewhere else yeah, yeah. And, and, and parang all the time, nagkaka identity crisis ako. Like, oh. hindi, I, 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 I am so gigil to parang come up with a project bigla. Like mm. when I used to work for that for the fast moving consumer goods, I was trying to ask them, is there a way that we can help Batangas? Like I know this is not my job, diba? Pero can you help me help Batangas? And and they did. Pero yun parang I, I no matter how hard I try, I always find myself doing these types of things. Which is and, good, galing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe God Kumbaga is telling me in so many ways. Poy, Ronin, ang, ang kulit mo. Parang, I'm telling you, this is what you have. Pero I tried. I tried. Yeah. And I, I owed it to myself to try. Kasi, nandun yung opportunity. So, syempre, mm-hmm. I, I tried it. And, um, yun, I, I, I learned a lot, to be fair naman. I learned a lot. And But siguro my kasi, heart will always be in natural public na rin service sa'yo or community development. Dahil yun yung naka, nakikita mo eh. Yun yung nakalakihan mo na ginagawa ng family, di ba? Tapos marami ka nakikita mga tao. So siguro kaya parang natural na lang din yun sa'yo. But I wanna, I wanna know, what, um, have you encountered any challenges? Um, like with the um, sangguni ang kabataan kagawad, um, na someone challenged you because of your age, for example. Na, um, kasi minsan may mga ganun eh. I remember when I was still active, um, in Youth for Christ, and this was ages ago. Mm. Um, so that's when I started giving talks. No, at a very young age, I started giving talks sa mga youth camp ganyan. And then until someone uh, challenged me one day, na tinanong niya ako na paano mo na paano ka nakapagsalita ng ganyan? Like how sure are you sa mga sinasabi mo? Parang ganon. Kasi nga I'm I was young, parang ganon. May ganon ka din ba? May may na experience ka bang ganon? Hmm. Mm. Uh, so but before, yeah, yes. Pero before that, I just to the last question. Never ever was I forced to like public service. I never, never yeah. ever. If my parents wanted me to be like, parang if I wanted to be a doctor, mm. my parents would have supported me one hundred and ten percent all the way. But yeah. I don't know. It, mas, mas personal ito. Parang it, it, it's something much bigger than myself, and I really enjoy that. But to answer your question, yes, uh, actually, um, many times and very often, uh, as in, it happens so often that people challenge me because I'm young or yeah, uh, kung ano ba? Uh, na it seems normal already. Na I, I'm so used to people challenging me. Na parang normal na siya. Mm. Um, Many times it it happens because of my age, uh, because maybe I am there's like a generational gap. Na they are twenty years older than me, and that's something that I respect, diba? I mean, they've been in this world longer than I have, and maybe they experience more. And I think, as much as we want to prove the point as young people, uh, it's important that we, at first for me, uh, really understand the kung ano nga ba yung context nila, where are they coming from. And maybe they're speaking from a past experience, which we have to understand also. Um, so it happens a lot. Uh, when I was an SK, um, you know, like I, I had a lot of crazy ideas. Never been, as in, to me, never been done before. And it took a while. It, it took a while for me to convince maybe much older people that, that we should do it. That's what I'm uh, I'll ask. give you one example. Cool. So... Um, over the pandemic, a lot of the restaurants um, have been affected because you can't dine in. Sometimes they can't even serve. And many had to close because they could not pay the bills, they could not pay rent, 
the the wages of um their employees and in the area where i reside in, in makati or where i studied um there were many restaurants and one of the things that i thought of in, in, in over the pandemic was how can we encourage families to help support our restaurants and it was because of that where i, I launched a street meet uh in our in our village so i create we created uh al fresco dining for many of the restaurants just to even help uh support them help get our economy restarted and i thought in my own little way nagawa namin yun but it, it took a long way to get there as in oh. the first time I, i the first time i did it was maybe three months into the pandemic i tried to convince um I won't name who na lang mm, pero okay. I'll try to I'll try I tried to convince several council members before. Okay. I think this is an idea that we should look into. Pe- people are already doing it. I I think we should do it. But of course, I I really understand where you're coming from. They're like no the the health risk is too much. We really there's much more that we don't know than what we know. Syempre at that point, talagang gulo-gulo like um this isn't a priority sabi ko. I I understand. But That won't stop me from trying. So mm-hmm. when I thought the time was right, when Manila started to become GCQ Olip, that's when I pushed. So because maybe this is the time. This is the time that we have to support our restaurants. Or else, when is the time? So I showed them. I, as in, I really prepared a a deck to show them that uh, this small did this. This other establishment did this. Why can't we do it? I I promise to be hands on. I I I won't bother to. find people to help support our idea and and we did uh through the help of Ayala Land uh and and um the Masaya which is the Makati the governing body of um Makati mm-hmm. we were able to launch just that so it was a team effort and we we um the feedback talaga i mean people really appreciated that not only restaurant owners but diners like families every every yeah. day Filipinos who who just wanted to Even for just a bit, experience what it was like before, de ba? That, that's something that um, we were deprived of over the last two years, and people just wanted that. So I'm thankful to everyone who supported that idea, and I'm also thankful to the people who kind of rejected us at first, yeah, because they taught me many lessons. They taught me not to give up, but they also taught me that sometimes ideas. Hindi lang pwedeng yes lang ng yes, de ba? Parang yes. there's a right time and place and kailangan talagang kinag-aralan yung mga ideas natin for it to work and I thank them for that. Hmm. Galing. Alam mo, nagustuhan ko yung sinabi mo na it's really um <clears throat> basta dapat hindi ka nagsa-stop eh, de ba? Kapag nagpo-propose ka ng mga ideas mo and with uh, the current um with Currently, what I'm doing uh, with Nasubu, you know, this um, yes, of course. me emailing people about how we can do like a coastal cleanup sa Nasubu mm. uh, Beach. Um, I feel like parang minsan ko makausap ako sa pader, pero minsan tinatanong ko <laughs> din yung sarili ko na baka naman you can start something without really waiting for these people. Alam mo yun? So ano ba yung pwede kong magawa mm. on my own? na baka pwede ko nang gawin. Alam mo yon Kasi nga... Mm, that's right, that's right. I, I, oo I eh, kasi... Pero hindi, wala rin naman akong regret na I reached out to dozens of people dahil I still feel na kailangan pa rin nilang marinig and malaman yung sitwasyon. But then, um, tama ka eh. Uh, minsan, kailangan mo lang talagang hindi lang siya idea lang na present mo or parang nag-complain ka lang or parang pinaalam mo lang sa mga tao na to. Kailangan... meron ka ring something na magawa para makita nila na you are really doing something, I guess. But you know what I mean, di ba? <laughs> yeah. explain, I, 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 I like what, I like, what, I, I mean, we've talked about this, right? Pero mm. I, I think something that I really learned from you is that even in our own little ways, kasi if you stay silent, you're, you're not doing anything. Maybe maybe mm. being silent might might be the worst thing to do. Di ba? Kasi it's like, aware kasi sa situation pero you're not doing anything about it or you're not trying at least ba? Diba? so I, i think parang even in your own little ways i'm sure um makakarating yung message mo and or 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 you're able to do something ba? Diba? who knows you who who will 
who you'll be able to work with on the certain issue or something exactly. like that. Exactly. And that's also the same reason why we um uh no in the nag evolve yung podcast. Like we just started na parang we want to create something online, you know, because it it was during lockdown when we started the podcast. But then eventually nag evolve mm-hmm. na siya into you know what? Um uh we want to become of service to other people. So ano ba yung pwede natin magagamit ba natin yung podcast? And so doon kami nag evolve into um using the platform to um help educate and spread awareness na kahit hindi mo talaga tinitingnan yung number na ilan ba yung nakinig ng episode na to or parang konti lang or ano you know what ang mga tao makikinig sila kung makaka-relate sila um mm-hmm. and basta merong life or two na ma-change mo or mai-inspire mo at least um i i i think that's I a huge ano eh di ba um yeah, kasi nag ripple yeah. effect yun eh. Yeah. If you can inspire one person, that, that's a big deal because that one person might inspire 10 more. Exactly. But who knows, who knows. And they, might and they educate got that from you another, because you did something exactly. Yeah. I, I really so I, 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 I guess yun din yung tinatry kong gawin sa Nasugbu. And um, lately nga, before I left, napapaisip talaga ako, ano ba yung pwede kong gawin on my own? Ano ba yung pwede kong simulan? So, para hindi ako naghihintay sa mga tao, um, baka nga kasi kulang lang din ako sa execution. Kasi minsan yun yung hmm. very challenging eh. And itong project na gusto nga sanang simulan ay hindi siya maliit na bagay. It's sobrang huge na maraming yes. tao ang kailangan ma-involve para ma-maintain ang mga bagay-bagay. But anyway, to our listeners, it's ang hirap pa munang sabihin what this is right now because wala pa namang talagang nasisimulan. But eventually, we're gonna mm-hmm. share it um, with you guys. So, okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, I wanna ask, what are you currently working on? Mm. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm very active with um, the provincial government of Batangas right now. So I, I play a big role in um, coordinating a lot of the youth affairs of um, the office of the vice governor in particular. Um, most recently, um, we've been working on um, getting a lot of scholarships um, for, for different people. So it's a program by the provincial government. Um, where the capital offers educational assistance to um, Batangueño students all around the province. So that's something that I've been uh, busy with right now. But that's aside nice. from that, I'm also I'm also finishing school then. Uh, ngayon, so um, I'm currently finishing my degree on development studies in uh, De La Salle University in Manila. Uh, so mas madalas ako sa Batangas now sa atin. Mm-hmm. Um, thankfully, because naging uh, virtual yung class, so yeah. it allowed me to do class from home, de ba? From from Batangas. Uh, but before, if kung hindi rin nangyari yung COVID, which I hope never happened to begin with, I would have been in um, in in campus sa Taft, Manila. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that that that's what I've been doing. I recently finished also an internship with. Um, JP Morgan and Chase, ah, yeah. which is a you which mentioned. is a bank. Uh, That's yeah, nice. so so it was it was a very good experience. Also, um, some something where I I learned a lot about the industry and um more so about how the whole COVID pandemic affected the employees as well. Grabe no, alam mo juggling all these things. You know, everything that you do, it takes a lot of discipline. Pero meron ka bang parang halimbawa um may isang araw ka na hindi ka gagalaw or wala kang gagawin or parang today is Netflix time, ganyan. Or talagang sanay ka lang na ang pahinga mo lang is you have one hour, two hours is matutulog ka tapos bukas gawa, 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 gawa na naman. May ganun ka ba? Um, meron naman. Um, pero, ay, madalas akong nasa labas ng bahay. Um, so, yung pinaka-rest ko is sports. Uh, or, or, or spending time with my family and friends. Uh, yun lang. In terms of personal rest, well, siguro I get um, five, six hours of sleep a day. And then, yung pinakatulog ko is sa kotse in, in between events. Ka. So, kunwari. <laughs> um, pagod na ba yung katawan ko? 
well, I mean, hindi hindi maiiwasan pero Yeah. But you're I, I mean, young. yes, of course. I mean, no, hindi. As in napapagod yung katawan ko. I, I'm not gonna lie, napapagod yung katawan. Ko. Pero to me, it's always outweighed by something deeper. Eh. Yeah. As, your as in, purpose. Your yung purpose pagod, keeps you going. Wala, yeah. Diba? Yod, yod, yod. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so uh ma- Meron, I, I have, nanonood rin ako ng TV shows ng uh, Instagram, Netflix. Facebook, kanyan. So, so just like anyone, just like a normal <laughs> person, I, I I do that also. Pero most of my time, parang I can't not do anything. Ganun yeah, na lang. I can't talaga. not do anything. So, Grabe ka. pag nag-rest ako, kailangan talagang tulog or else I'm wasting my time. Kasi yun yung, na, yung, yun yung time na na-allot ko for rest. Eh. So, yeah. I have pero, to keep doing something productive. <laughs> pero sige, fine. Then, kasi bata ka pa naman, so you still all have, you you still have that energy. Ako kasi, ganyan din ako before eh, na parang dalawa yung trabaho ko, kaya ko pa yun, nag-aaral habang nagtatrabaho, ganyan. But you know, eventually parang, but then again, I wanna go back to your purpose keeps you going. Kaya siguro ganyan. <laughs> so, I, sports, no, I mean, sports. Pa, so, 25 ka lang ah. We're not too far apart. Oh no! Papadala kita ng ano. Patis mo lang yan pa. I'm kidding. So dami mo na. Anyways. Hey, um, anong sports? Golf? Or, I, 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 when sport? I was young, I used to play basketball. Pero yes. I, uh, ngayon golf. Kasi oh. first yun lang yung pwede rin sa pandemic eh. So, ah, yeah. um, pero b- before that, yun lang yung hilig ko. Kasi um, Your dad it gives me a chance yata, to... Eh. Yes. Um, diba? Mm-hmm. Uh yes yes so our my entire family we uh we we play golf so um it, it's also part of our our, our business and we mm. we ma- we we own a golf course in Lipa mm. um so uh we were all taught to play golf and that's something that um ganun lang yung exercise ko kasi it gives me a chance to walk maybe Twelve thousand steps. Twelve thousand steps in five hours. So oh my god! Parang mga exercise, exercise, exercise. Rin. That's a really um, good exercise. It is at at um, it's really a sport because mm. your 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 mental game and your physical game, talagang kailangan always alert. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I should try golf. golf. I should try that. You should. Mm. <laughs> um, many people now, both boys and girls, men and women. Yeah. Um, everyone have has been trying to play golf because yun yun lang rin yung pwede. Uh, yeah. but, but um, I also play uh tennis occasionally with my girlfriend on the oh, weekends. That's nice. Uh, so so yun, yun, yun naman talagang um or or Manila. So yun naman talagang kailangan. Iba yun. Uh, iba ang oh, tennis. Iba My gosh. Yun, As in, buong din. katawan mo talaga. Raketa pa lang. Ang bigat yes. na eh. I mean, unlike exactly. badminton, uh, lighter yung raketa and you're only, mostly using your one arm. Diba? Pag Correct. tennis and, and kasi dalawa. Ma- mas maliit yung uh, court. Yung ground. Yeah, yung court. Yeah. Hey, Ronin, um, do you have any words to live by? Um, or what do you admire most about your dad? Hmm. All right. Siguro, siguro, um first about my dad. I I think I think um he's the hardest worker. He's the hardest worker out there. Um, I and I I I've seen that from him. I if you think I sleep if you think five hours of sleep for me is content. I've seen that guy do two hours of sleep. Then he's out the next day already in in oh. in, in Batangas. And I saw this especially in when Taal erupted. Um. When that when Taal erupted, I remember at that time, many of the other um, many of the other people didn't even want to leave their house, but my dad went from Phil Vox, drove straight to the as in, we couldn't see anything, as it, it was that dark. He people were advising him don't 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 go bugas na, but he was like I I can't. But people their lives are at stake. I need to be there with my fellow Batangan. So he, he went there. He had a full day the next day, as in they had session and everything. He slept. He didn't sleep. Slept for maybe two hours that day. Um, after everything, after helping people move into evacuation centers, he slept alone in the provincial capital. Just him. Oh my God, that is so scary. 
nakakatakot yun. Yeah. To sleep in the capital. At night ha, na ikaw lang sa building. As in, oh, siguro, wow. may mga, siguro may mga multo na multo. Yeah. multo, multo. Pero, pero, pero he did that. And if he wasn't sleeping in his office, he was sleeping in the car alone. Pero he needed to be where the the problem was because he wanted to be part of the solution. And I, I think that's something that uh, I admire. He, he really works hard. He gets up early at the morning, ends night late, um, just to do his job properly. But words wow. that I live by, one of, one of the things that I, I really live by is in every crisis, there is opportunity. I think that's something that I, I, I've learned. And I think COVID has been a testament to that. I learned it when I took a, took a business class before. Yung mga classmates ko, mga 30-year-old, 40-year-old. Mm. I, was a, I was 18 at that time. Oh, wow. I was the youngest in the room. Um, but I was, we were all there to learn. And our professor, Professor Jay Bernardo, great, great, great entrepreneur, said in every crisis there is opportunity and ever since that moment i i thought i thought of that because you know when bad things happen to us sometimes we we keep dwelling on the bad things always focus on the negative but what separates good entrepreneurs and good leaders from the great ones i think is the ability to react and the ability to see the opportunity in every crisis so, for example, COVID. What has this whole... So let's talk about work in COVID, right? What has this COVID pandemic shown to all of us? That work from home is actually possible. Yeah. That, that you can work from miles away and do your job. And sometimes it's even faster. But it also showed us that Wi-Fi is essential. And yes. that there are many people who don't have fast Wi-Fi. So how does that work for them? So there are so many opportunities if you think of that, diba? Na parang there's an opportunity to make sure that everyone has good Wi-Fi. That's why when we were in school, one of the first things that I did when I was vice president for external affairs, um, me and my girlfriend, we, we reached out to Smart and Globe and we asked them if they could give Wi-Fi to our students? scholars. To our oh, scholars. The scholars, yes. That's nice. So, so I think over 2,000 students w- w- were able to receive uh, Wi-Fi assistance, at least for that term. And that, that was the opportunity there, that you, you had the opportunity to use your position to get people what they need at this point in time. So in every crisis, there is opportunity. And I, I guess I challenge everyone to... Sometimes it's hard, but yeah. you have to look at what is this moment in time teaching us and what should I do about it? Diba? Minsan kasi kapag uh, desperate na or in, ta- pag in times of crisis tapos desperate ka na, mas madaling piliin na lang na magduel eh. Diba? On the negative and to give up. To give up. And yeah. So parang mm. medyo nabablock yung looking for opportunities. Um, I agree. In times of crisis. But I'm really glad that you mentioned that. Um, it's really helpful. Um, so before we wrap up this um, episode, kahit nag-enjoy pa ako, um, I want to ask you, what's up next for you and what is your ultimate dream for Batangas? Mm-mm. Well, for me, I, I'm i very excited to finish school. Um, I, I learned a lot in school and I'm very excited to finally uh, give a diploma to my to my parents and uh, especially to my grandparents who have um, paid for my education ever since I was young. So I think mostly it's for them. Yeah. I'm excited to give that to them uh, while they're still alive uh, and healthy. Um, what's my what's my goal for Batangas or what's my vision for Batangas? Um, you know, I I think Batangas is really in the sweet spot for development. Um, we're next. We're next. We're it, it, yes. whatever Manila is now. We're 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 up next, and that excites me because as young as we are, we have the chance to still create that vision together, create that goal together. So, what my dream for Batangas is the dream of many. Like what I want my dream for Batangas to be is I want all our dreams together. That that's my dream. Uh, but to 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 put it. Very simply, I I believe in a tomorrow together, uh, a, a future where 
mayaman or mahirap, girl or boy, farmer, fisherman, businessman, lahat tayo aangat. Nang sabay-sabay. I, I, I believe na kailangan lahat may access to the most basic needs. Sometimes, I, I think governments don't even need to do much kasi. Sometimes, we just need to deliver the most basic services at the most effective way possible. And sometimes, that's more than enough. Eh. But of course, I, I won't settle for that if, if that was me. I, I always want to go above and beyond. But to me, we just need to make sure that every Batangenyo has food to eat in the morning. That every Batangenyo has a chance at a very good job without even having to leave their family or leave the province. That every Batangenyo has something to be proud of. That when they go to sleep at night, they have a reason to wake up in the morning. A dream. Much larger than themselves. And that's what I want every Batangenyo to have. That, that's it. Um, th- that's, really my, that's really my dream. Because I... I I think every Batangueño and every Filipino deserves a chance at a better life. And in any way that I can, I want to be an instrument to helping them achieve that. I want us to dream together so that we can achieve much more. I love Yun everything naman. that you just said. Grabe, parang I love Batangas. <laughs> but hey, um, <laughs> if there's anything that I can do to help, like for any projects na you think I can help you, please let me know kasi um, you know how much passionate I am um, yes, with, you know, changing. Siyempre, magsastart ako dun sa town where um, I was raised um, mm-hmm. in Nasugbu. So, yes, please let me know. Um, I really want to help. And thank you mm-hmm. for guesting again to uh, Late Nights uh, by thank you. And, and podcast. I, and I, I, I hope that it won't be my last time here. No, but for of sure. Course I, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to uh, work with you and everyone else in, yes. in, in in making Batangas better diba? For, for everyone and uh, making your dreams come true of, I hope and so our too. dreams come true of, of Batangas. Really looking forward for that day even if it means or it will take um, It's gonna take a lot of work but um, For sure, for but, sure. Um, but kaya, kaya, kaya. I'm, I'm very yeah. optimistic. Yeah, kaya, I know, kaya. I know me too. I mean, I think this is the best time na we start to make um, changes talaga, you know, implementing changes. Dahil we have everything that we need eh. Hindi lang natin nagagamit ng maayos, sa totoo lang eh, di ba? Um, we are all connected. Um, kailangan lang natin gamitin yon, Parang ganon. Mm. And, and I must say, before we go, um, to those who have a dream, but sometimes just like us, Zai, sometimes feel that our dream is so big that we can't do it. Know that, know that it's very possible and yes. know that, I mean, of course, this podcast and, and we are here to do anything that we can to help make dreams come true. That's, yes. to me, that's also my, you know, because like, I, I know that there are a lot of people that have so many hopes and dreams, so many passionate minds in Batangas especially who just want a better future. That's it. And, Sometimes they don't know where to start. They're so overwhelmed. I've been in that position. I've been so overwhelmed by all the problems, all my thoughts, and all my dreams that I don't know where to start. But if if we start to talk about these things, especially as young people, my God, I can only think about the things that we can do together. Diba? Diba? As yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, that's true. Very and I, I can't wait for that day to come. Hey, Ronin, thank you for sharing your Sunday night. Thank with you me so much, also. And the podcast. <laughs> It, it's a big privilege for me to be here, and I hope. You know, I hope it's not the last time. No, I saw your last one the, about a blood blood donating. Also, I used oh, to donate yeah. blood, but I, I I I hope we can encourage everyone to do that. Then. Yeah, it, it will literally actually, it will literally save lives. Literally, ito, oh, we're actually um planning to um get in touch with Red Cross. I, I'm not sure how they do it, but I wanna um do uh uh blood. What do you call that? Blood donation blood run. Event. Yes, yeah, yes. there you go. Um, hindi ko lang alam ko paano magsa-start, but um, pagbalik ko ng Nasugu, I'm actually looking Ayan. Um, for something yeah, to I, do. I, 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 could, I could help with that, Ren. I could help with that. Um, diba? Pwede yeah, na ba yun? We, we could, Pwede na ba yun ngayong yeah, pandemic? Yeah. Pwede yun, but of course, okay. of course, we have to uh, ensure the right and appropriate um, safety measures yeah. just to make sure that, you know, um, no one gets COVID. The, the pandemic is still very real. Diba? Yeah. So, 
we have to follow the rules talaga. But pwede, pwede yun. And we encourage everyone, please do yes, donate blood. Yes, please. It really save, saves <laughs> lives, di ba? Totoo. <laughs> hey, um, sige, I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you again, Ronin. Thank um, you so much for having me. Don't forget to send me your pictures pala sa email. Oh, you sent it I na pala did. kanina. Tama ba? I did, I did. I okay, perfect. Oh, Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you and good night. Good night, Thank everyone. You. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.